you know, the so mindset. The of their life, but Bro, know. okay, so here's my question for you. Who controls your mindset? You do. Okay. Um, did you hear the caller that called in a little bit ago um, uh, that got run over by his girl and had to learn how to walk again and everything? Yeah, shout out to Chris. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the thing, bro. It's either you do or you don't. The reality is the only thing that human beings respect in general is results. And results are only a co only come after accomplishments. And the only way that you're going to get any type of accomplishments done is by gritting your teeth and making it happen regardless of your circumstances. Because at the end of the day, right, if uh, – let's say, let's say Michael Jordan, right? He won all those championships. If he had lost – at the finals, no one would care that he had the flu. No one would care that his dad died. No one would care that he had a gambling problem. No one would care that he had issues with his wife. They would just say, you fucking lost. No one cares about why you lost. They just care that you lost. Okay? It's not society's um, job to understand your problems. The world doesn't owe you understanding. And I'm here to tell men the cold hard reality that no one gives a fuck about your problems. The only problems that people care about are women's problems and children's problems. And that's just an unfortunate reality in life when it comes to men. Your only real utility as a man is what you create. And if you don't create, you're invisible. This is why most women see most men as non economically attractive this is why most women don't give a fuck about most men and this is why so many guys commit suicide and suffer from depression because they don't understand the basic concept that men and women are different and men are evaluated based on what they create the only people that are loved unconditionally are women and children men are only loved under the condition that they provide something so now that we have the foundation set you have two choices you can either a Adapt and overcome and say, no one gives a fuck about my problems and I'm going to overcome this regardless of whatever um, disadvantages I may have. Or B, we can go ahead and say what you just said. Hey, well, everyone might not be in the right mindset and people are going through things or whatever. Bro, everyone suffers. Everybody suffers. And quite frankly, there's people outside of the United States that suffer at a, to a higher degree than we do. The reason why me and Fresh have very little patience for guys that say, oh, it's, it sucks out here, blah, 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 is because I've been to a third world country before. I've seen people starve. I've seen people die from simple shit like not being able to drink water or not being able to eat. When I was a special agent with Homeland Security, I remember vividly seeing dead children in the fucking desert. I remember vividly seeing bones of people that had tried to cross into the United States from Mexico. I remember vividly Mexican cartels killing migrants trying to come into the United States because they didn't pay $1,000 to cross the Rio Grande River. I remember vividly seeing illegal aliens dying in the back of tractor trailers in San Antonio back uh, five years ago, and I'll break down that case for y'all too, trying to come to the United States. They got left in the fucking back of a trailer, like 200 of them, like 70 or 80 of them fucking died, guys, because of heat exhaustion in July. I've seen people go to crazy lengths for the opportunity to have what you have right now that you're crying about saying people don't understand. We well, you know what people also don't understand the opportunities that they have. I will never ever let someone let me finish. I will never let anyone yeah. come on here and make an excuse as to why they're not where they want to be because of some pussy shit like mindset. Because as far as I'm concerned, there's people dying to come to this country that would trade places with you in a fucking instant. You're watching us with internet, calling into a show with technology, lights, food, and water. You know how many people don't even have that privilege? They look at Americans as fucking pussies? Yo, once you leave the United States, I don't know if you guys know this, everyone hates the United States. Because we have a bunch of fucking crybabies that are fat, coddled, don't uh, appreciate the blessings that they have, and they cry more about what they don't have versus what they do have. If mindset is your only barrier to success, then quite frankly, you're a fucking pussy and you deserve to suffer in poverty because there's people that suffer in poverty that don't have a choice. But if you are suffering in poverty in the United States, it is a fucking choice. So you get no type of sympathy from me because I've seen people die and go to great lengths to come to this country that never get the opportunity. Call it simple. Watch our Monday yeah. Mondays. I, I, I don't know. I don't know I, who I, you want to tell you, bro. And for those of you in the chat that are wondering what I, illegal I, aliens are, it means undocumented people from foreign countries, guys. You guys got to understand in the United States, they refer to aliens as immigrants that don't have documentation. That's how the immigration law looks. The INA. Look up the Na Immigration Naturalization Act. They refer to foreign nationals as aliens, guys. And also, I was laughing because uh, earlier someone commented, let me hear what stupid shit this nigga got to say. 
And then uh, I know you probably made that up on the spot because you want to talk out on the phone. I get that, but it's a, it's a hit a call in show, bro. So, all right, man. Yeah. All right. Did you have anything to rebut to that? Hold on. Wait, wait, Do you have anything you say say to that? No, he's gone now. Chris, man. Okay. Um, Memorize his, okay, let, let him. Uh, no, but he only called in, bro. Just to like talk. He didn't. That was not his question. I could tell, but he, he came in just to speak. That was not a legit complaint. I'm telling you. All right, let's go with uh, one second. How's a few haters? This nigga, bro. Yo, haters, call in for real. Not, uh, don't question, just call in. All right, let's go with uh, 4377. And guys, please don't sp- uh, spam the chat. D- just say your error code and you're you a hater. Don't spam it in the chat, please. So I said it's nigga, easy work. Hey, yo, is, that, is that me? Yeah, I see you, hater. Let's go. Is that me? Yeah, hater, let's go. It is. Let's yo, go. Yo, fresh. I just wanted to say, I just want to say, fuck no real. Read one piece. Read fucking one piece. All right? Fucking read. Okay. Um, nigga, I watched One Piece. What, what the f- Nigga. All right. All right, guys. Uh, Lu- Luffy's my nigga, bro. What, what, what please, this? please stay on topic, guys. <laughs> what the? All right, let's go with uh, one second. This nigga, bro. Let's go with uh, 0910. Shout out to jo- Joy Boy. Yo. Can y'all hear me? Yes. yes, sir. Are you a hater? Yo, shout out to FNF gang. I wanted to piggyback off what the last guy said. Um... So I'm an officer uh, also, and Myron, I want to ask you this. <laughs> Remember when you said you was, because I'm trying to escape the matrix, and so I'm trying to find a way to escape the matrix. It was through trucking. I got finessed out of $72,000 by some guru. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's just like, so I'm trying to escape the matrix. What I'm saying to Myron, my question for Myron is, when you was in that position to... Sorry, caller. Um, yeah, bro, dude, you're, you're not a hater, bro. Uh, yo, any haters, call the phone line 515 605 9740. I'm telling you right now, at this point, we'll do the QA after, bro. Yeah, like but right now, guys, the, 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 disagreements or.